back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you're new to my channel, I upload DIY and sewing tutorials every single week. I usually do Saturdays, but sometimes I will occasionally upload on Sundays. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an elastic waistband skirt and this tutorial is so simple and so easy. Anybody can do it. What you'll need for this project is probably about a yard and a half of material and that's how much I got for my skirt and I got this print which is the exact same as the top that I'm wearing so I wanted to make a cute skirt to go with it and then I got this elastic from Joanne I'm also gonna have my little helper Jack today so if you haven't met Jack he is half pug and half shih tzu and he is adorable he loves to be in all my videos all right so let's go ahead and get started So after you've measured how long you want your skirt to be, what I'm gonna do with mine actually is I'm just gonna fold it over. I'm just gonna cut where my crease is. It's a little bit longer than my measurements, but um, at least I'll have enough for seam allowance and for the elastic and all that. So for this one, you'll probably need two pieces cut I know that I do with mine because one piece is not enough because you're gonna have to bunch it up at the top of the elastic so you probably will need two pieces total so now you're gonna take both your pieces and you're gonna put right sides together and make sure your print is facing the correct direction and what I'm gonna do is just pin them together on the end so it'll be one long piece Now that you have your elastic waistband cut, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the top of the fabric that's going to attach to the elastic waistband. Um, this is an extra step that I'm adding in. I don't know if everybody does this, but this is how I do it. What I like to do is I'm going to use my pinking shears for this and it's supposed to keep it from fraying. So when you attach the fabric, it won't fray at the top. So I'm just going to cut at the top of the skirt. So when you're done cutting it, it's just going to be little zigzag cuts. So yeah, these scissors are awesome. If you don't have a pair, I would recommend getting them. It is a total game changer. So now that we've got that cut, what we're gonna do is start attaching the fabric to the elastic. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your material and you're just gonna fold it about an inch and you'll just pin it into place and you'll just do it about the middle of the elastic is what I usually do. And you'll just do it all the way down You'll probably have some fabric left over, but it's better to have some left over than to not have enough. That's why I do two pieces for this. Look at Jack, he's such a good helper. Say hi, Jack. All right, so now the inside of your skirt should look like this. So now what you're gonna do is take both right sides together and you're gonna pin at the top of the elastic all the way down to the bottom of the skirt and then you'll sew it. So there's only one last step left to this skirt and that is to hem it. What you're going to do for the hemming is fold it over once and then fold your fabric over again and then you'll pin it and then sew it. 